Hello, welcome to my class. In this video, we shall be learning about the Avogadro's law. And also, we shall learn about what is known as the molar gas volume, which are very closely related to the Avogadro's law. So the Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. Let us take an example. If you had a thousand cubic centimeters of chlorine and a thousand cubic centimeters of oxygen, these volumes measured at the same temperature and pressure, then it means that these two gases will have the same number of molecules. You realize that since the Avogadro's law states that they have the same number of molecules, then it is very paramount to always state the temperature and pressure at which you're measuring the volume of gases during chemical analysis. So now let's head to the molar gas volume. Now, the molar gas volume, sometimes abbreviated as MGV, is also very simple. Just like you remember talking about molar mass, the, mole, the mass of one mole of a substance, then molar gas volume will be very similar. It means the volume occupied by one mole of any gas at a given temperature and pressure. So you realize that whenever you're talking about gases, we have to specify the temperature and the pressure because gases can change their volumes when you change the temperature or pressure. Now it follows that there is a need to come up with a conventional way of putting up our volumes so that whenever we say 20 cubic centimeters of oxygen, then we are sure that the temperature and pressure at which we measure that volume is the same throughout. So that brings us to what is known as RTP and STP. RTP is an abbreviation for room temperature and pressure. Now, this is very, very easy to remember because the conventional room temperature and pressure that we give is usually 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. It can also be given in terms of the Kelvin scale, which is 298 Kelvin and 760 millimeters mercury. The next one is the standard temperature and pressure, which is abbreviated as STP. You can see standard temperature and pressure. Now the standard temperature and pressure is very similar to RTP, but there is a slight difference. The pressure remains constant, but the temperature changes. That's why you say it is standard temperature. Now the standard temperature and pressure is zero degrees Celsius or one atmosphere and one atmosphere and 273 Kelvin and 766 millimeters mercury. So whenever we say RTP or STP, remember these values of temperature and pressure. And now back to the molar gas volume. We say that molar gas volume stands or uh, means that the volume occupied by one mole of any gas at a given temperature. So now we're going to use our standard temperature and pressure and also our room temperature and pressure. So, one mole of any gas at the standard temperature and pressure, STP, will occupy 22.4 decimeter cubed. That is the same as 22.4 liters, or we can say 22,400 centimeters cubed. Now, the same gas at room temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas will be occupying 24 decimeter cubed, or 24 liters or 24,000 cubic centimeters. So in order to remember all these values, you just need to remember one statement that one decimeter cubed is equal to one liter and is also equal to a thousand cubic centimeters. I hope you learned something nice today. Now in the next video, I'm going to be showing you some of the calculations that are going to be involving the molar gas volume. You'll find them exciting, so watch out for the next video. See you.